unlimited potential. That's Garden Grove. Once a bedroom community, Garden Grove has almost magically transformed itself into a thriving land of opportunity and diversity. Led by a team of forward thinkers who welcome fresh ideas and make them happen. It's a wonderful city. I feel safe um, living in Garden Grove. Garden Grove has uh, culture, food, family. We love all the activities. And you know, you're never bored. Have you noticed a lot of new faces in Garden Grove lately? That's because the push to attract young families is working. The demographic of the city is changing. We are no longer the sleepy town of old, but we are you know, young, thriving, filled with ambitious people who want to be able to stay, live, and play in the place that they grew up. Garden Grove is becoming that place by bringing in the things that draw people together. Art, music, technology, and of course, food. My name's Andrew. I'm the owner of Maddie's Cafe and Grill in Garden Grove, California. Andrew O oh sees the opportunity to set up shop in what was previously a bakery in the Grove District Anaheim Resort. Maddie's Cafe serves up a mean Korean barbecue rice bowl with a side order of praise for the City of Garden Grove's accredited Economic Development Division. Their able hands lit the fire that enabled this family-owned restaurant get a loan to help hire employees. We're extremely happy with the City of Garden Grove and we hope to expand with more locations in Garden Grove. It's not hocus pocus or smoke and mirrors. It's the reflection of the hardworking people who get it done by working collaboratively across departments. I see it day in and day out. They work tirelessly. They have so many creative ideas that they put into action. They work together well as teams within their departments and also across departments. I could just not be any more proud of our team. It's a team with a strong bench. That's why when our police chief retired, we didn't have to look far for a perfect replacement. The community of Garden Grove is our extended family, and we are here to protect and serve you. And when Garden Grove's city manager moved on, there was no need for an expensive, time-consuming national search to replace him. Like a rabbit being pulled from a hat, the best candidate was right here. As your new city manager, my top priority is to listen and meet the needs and the concerns of the community. We've got a deep bench. We've got a lot of people that we mentor and bring up through the ranks. The City Hall team isn't afraid of challenges. The homelessness crisis has hit every California city hard, but Garden Grove is attacking it on several fronts. Looking forward to have a better place for people that, you know, they don't have to sleep on the street or outside under the rain and cold weather. Garden Grove is collaborating with our neighbors in Westminster and Fountain Valley to open the Central City's Navigation Center this year. It's an 85-bed emergency housing complex with wraparound services, from mental health and drug counseling to job training and transportation. That's one way to end homelessness but Garden Grove is doing even more with the help of Cal Optima Health and Healthcare in Action. We have a saying at Cal Optima Health that we're better together, and we cannot do this without the city of Garden Grove. The street medicine program is going to help the unhoused here in Garden Grove finally get the medical attention that they need. This basically doctor's office on wheels is going to be going throughout the city. We're very excited about it. Another exciting development is the Stewart Apartments. It's Garden Grove's first supportive housing project, and it's changing the lives of people like Arthur Sims. I feel like, like I hit the lot of it. <laughs> I'm serious, because what else can a person ask for? Sims is now a proud, productive resident of the Stewart Apartments and thankful to Garden Grove for changing his life. I feel like I'm a person again. It's like, okay, I can get this together now. It's, it's like overwhelming, really. So much being done to make sure Garden Grove is a magical place to live for all. Everybody wants to have a good city to live in. And I think that's where you could see that typical, it comes from their heart. <laughs>